All right then gang, so we've created our review schema using Yup up here, and then we've passed that schema into the Formic form. So now what happens is when we try to submit a form, it runs the values through the schema, and only if they all pass does it carry on with the submission and run this on submit function to add that new value over here. Now, at the minute, if it doesn't pass, then it just doesn't submit and we don't get any kind of errors or feedback so we don't know where we've gone wrong and it would be nice to show those to a user. Now fortunately, when we use Yup and Formic together like this, if we pass a review schema in and it doesn't pass, so the validation fails, then Yup provides Formic with some error messages and it attaches those to the props that we get inside the render function inside Formic. So then we can access those and output them underneath the relevant input. So for example, what I'm gonna do is a text component right now, and I'm gonna give this a style property as well, which we're gonna create later on. It's gonna come from the global styles, and then I'm gonna say dot error text. So we'll create those styles shortly. And let me just check we've imported global styles. Yes, we have done. Okay, so inside this text component, what we can do now is output the error. So we say props, we have a property called errors on that, and then we have a property called title, because that is one of the fields that we register for this form. This is the title field. So Yup is gonna attach an error to this property for the title if it doesn't pass. And if I just save that now, and I go and preview this. Let me just try adding on a new review title. So I'll just press one letter and we can see now it says title must be at least four characters, right? So it's outputting that error and it only goes away when it's correct. So I'm gonna do exactly the same thing for the other two fields. So let me cross this off first of all and down here I'll paste it and this time it's going to be the body error and then down here, it's going to be the rating error. So let me save this and try it again. Now, if I go to add now, we can see if I go into the review title and add something, then not only does this error come up, but also these errors come up as well. Now, if I start to type in these, then they go away once they're valid, but first of all, at least they're showing, but it would be nice if they only show when a certain form is not valid, not before we've even tried to type something in. That was kind of like jumping the gun and saying we've done it wrong before we've even tried. Now we can get around that by coming up here and adding something to this statement. So what I'm gonna add is props.touched.title and then do a double ampersand. Now let's understand what's going on here. First of all, what's this? Props.touched. Well, props.touched keeps track of which form fields have been touched. So if we were to open this and then click into one of these, then that has now been touched. These two haven't, but that has been touched, right? So for the title, this would be true because I just clicked it. But if I did it for, say, the body down here, then it would be false. And it would be false for all of them to begin with before we touch any of them. So that's what this thing is. Now we've added on the double ampersand here and then output this as well. So what does this do? Well, this is a logical and operator. And when we're outputting something like this, what happens is it only outputs the thing on the right hand side, but it only outputs it if both of these evaluates are true. So only if this has been touched, then it will output this, okay? It won't output true to the screen. It only outputs the thing on the right. That's the way this logical and works. So now I'm gonna do something very similar for these things down here. So let me paste that in here, double ampersand and change this to body. So now only after this has been touched, if there's an error, it will show and it won't show automatically when we touch this one. And we'll do the same thing down here for the rating. So let's change that to rating and we'll save this and then we'll try this again. So if I go to add something now and start typing in here, you can see now we actually don't get anything and they only show up once we submit. 
Now we can get some real-time validation errors by just adding on an on blur prop. So I could say on blur and set that equal to props dot handle blur and I'm going to pass in the title and I'm going to do the same thing for the other things as well. So down here I'm going to do it for the body and then down here I'm going to do it for the rating. So let me cross this off up here and let me save this to refresh it. Now if I open this up and if I start to type if it's not valid as soon as I go away from this field then we're triggering the on blur function okay and then it's going to run the validation real time so now you can see I went away from that field and it triggered this validation as well now we're getting a bit more real time validation okay so if I go into this one then go away on blur we now see this error so if we type it in now everything is going to work Okay, so that's that pretty much done, but I do want to make the errors look a bit better. So I'm going to go now to the global styles over here, and I'm just going to add one for the error text. I think that's what it was called. So global styles error text. Yep. Okay, so let's add that in. Error text. This is an object, and we just need to add some different properties. So the first one is going to be the color, and that will be crimson, which is a deep red. And then I'm going to do the font weight, and that is going to be bold. And then after that, I'm going to do margin bottom, and that's going to be about 10 pixels. Then I'll do a margin top, which will be 6 pixels. And then finally, text align, and that will be center. Okay, so let's see if this works. I'm going to cross this off and save it. And now if we open this up, I'm going to press in here, then move away, and that looks a bit better. I'll move away from this one, looks a bit better, move away, looks a bit better. Awesome. So now we have this form pretty much all done. It's all working. The next thing I'd like to do, though, is address this button at the bottom. At the minute, this is a default React component. Now, what I'd like to do is make something that looks a bit better because you can't add the style prop to a button component. So in the next video, much like we did for a card, we're going to create a custom button component and then place that here instead.